What is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in another episode of Market Monday and I want to give a very big thank you to everybody that watched the very first episode of Pack and Play on its return. Uh, I definitely took a lot of your guys' comments um, into consideration. I'm not going to be using the Madden Season cards and I will not be using any duplicates. I'll just, you know, roll with whatever I open up in packs and then, you know, I'll have some rules and stuff set for when I win games in the playoffs and in the Super Bowl. So as you guys could tell, I still am a little bit under the weather. Uh, hopefully it does not affect the video. I'm trying to rest my voice as much as I can. It just sucks, you know, every time I get sick, it's just the same old story. Uh, I lose my voice, and then for a couple days, I have to just take it easy. So, you know, with Market Monday, I always try to help you guys make coins. And unfortunately, one of the things I said did not come true. Um, everything I say is not always going to be 100% true. You know, some things will be. Uh, I will help you guys in some ways, but in, in other ways, I might, you know, hurt situations. Um, I said Arian Foster, Road to the Playoffs, might be in the set, and he might be really rare, but for some reason, they didn't add any Arian Foster uh, cards into this set at all. Like, not even the Road to the Playoffs Elite, no golds, uh, no base set golds. I don't know why they, you know, didn't add him to the set. It makes no sense to me, uh, but unfortunately, you know, they didn't. And now he is no longer rare, and you guys probably lost a lot of coins stocking up on his Road to the Playoffs Elite card. So again, I apologize for that. You know, you really can't see it coming um, because, you know, one set they'll add, you know, all the cards into the set that you would imagine, and then the next set they just will disclude, or is that even a word, disclude? They won't include, you know, one of the cards that you would think they would. And Arian Foster was one of the most expensive uh, halfbacks before this set came out. Um, not because of me, uh, he was even rare, you know, before I said anything, just not super rare, but everything else here really isn't going for anything that much at all. Um, Football Outsiders, DeMarco Murray, only 9K. Uh, we have the Jonathan Stewart Football Outsiders. He's only going for about, let's see here, 9K as well. Uh, you know, there's not too many rare cards here. The one card that I want you guys to look at every now and then you know, I do this every single week. I tell you guys what cards to look for in the set. Road to the playoffs, Andre Ellington, currently 80K. Um, that is one of the most extremely rare cards currently that is a gold in the game. Uh, definitely be sure to be on the lookout for that card. Um, other than that, though, you know, I really haven't taken too much time to look at this set. So I was really disappointed that they did not keep Arian Foster in the set, but they added Adrian Peterson. You know, it's kind of weird. AP wasn't even mentioned uh, since his you know, suspension from the NFL. Uh, they didn't mention him in month. They didn't, you know, they took him out of packs. Or, I'm sorry, they took his image off the pack, the All Madden pack. Uh, why would they add him to the set and then disclude Arian Foster? You know, it really makes no sense at all. But uh, AP is in the set. He's only 17K, so not too hard to get. Uh, you're just going to have to get that Andre Ellington and then get the uh, three elite badges, which, of course, are currently going for a pretty big margin sitting at 62k so that's pretty much where the rarity is for you know the Le'Veon Bell you figure you have three elite badges as around 60 a piece and then you have the Andre Ellington going for 80 that pretty much equals out uh plus all the other cards are probably like like four to 10k and then that'll equal his value so that's why he's going for that and you know it's kind of upsetting that Arian Foster's not in there because I know a lot of you guys were really hoping to make a lot of coins off that but you know, you can never tell with EA. They, you know, they may have even watched the video and said, uh, well, we don't want people to be ahead of the game. We don't want people to make coins. And they just took him out of the game, uh, took him out of the set. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's what they did. Uh, anyways, here is Jamie Collins, a right outside linebacker reward. Uh, the rare cards in this set, right off the top of my head, we have Bruce Carter, of course. He'll be rare for a little bit, currently going for around 40K. Uh, it's a pretty big number in comparison to what we usually see in sets. Um, usually the rarity now is the elite badges and some random gold card. Uh, we do have a random gold card that is going for a lot as well in this set. Another card I want you guys to take a look at, and that is Lorenzo Alexander. I actually had one earlier, and I sold it for around 100K. Um, he's going for 114 now, and you know he's going to be one of, the rare, uh, one of the rarer cards moving forward for a while. Because these guys, unfortunately, for some reason, are so hard to pull. Even when the set comes out, uh, pulling 74, you know, 73 up to 75 overall road to the playoff cards, 
that go into sets or some reason, you know, they're so hard to pull. I don't know why. So if you guys have any of those on farms, you know, if you didn't know he was rare, now you do. Uh, so definitely go see if you have any of those and get them sold while you can. Uh, now, other than that, like I said, um, the elite badges are always going to go for a lot. And then, you know, you're, you're going to have a couple cards here or there that go for a decent amount of coins. Like I said, I haven't really looked too much at these cards. Um, his base set, Lorenzo Alexander, going for it. He's currently going for 17. So you also have that. Uh, if you have the Road to the Playoffs or the normal gold, they're both going for a decent chunk of coins. And I'm sure you could go through and find other ones that you might have in here. Just look for the ones that you have, you know, add to set on. Look them up, see what they go for. And if you're not interested in doing the set, definitely sell the cards and you'll make some coins. Um, but we've had a lot of things come into the game lately. We've had, you know, silver tickets. We've had golden tickets. We've had, you know, the new all-rookie team collections here. You have the rookie trade edition of Charles Woodson where you get the free safety. Uh, this is where you're going to make a lot of coins, honestly. I've been doing it for a while. Like, you could pick any one of these cards and just look at them and see what they're going for, and you'll eventually just find a snipe anywhere. I mean, Joel Batonio, I sniped one earlier for 10K, and he's going for 33. Made a decent chunk off that, about 20K. And like I said, you could just sit here and do this pretty much all day. Um... The big ones you're going to want to look at are Mike Evans, of course. You know, you want to look at Mike Evans every now and then. Currently going for 59. Uh, you could get a pretty decent snipe off that because a lot of people are trying to do this set. A lot of people want that Charles Woodson, so you could definitely find some big-time snipes on these cards. Uh, Sammy Watkins is another one that I want you guys to look at every now and then. Uh, currently 36K. Um, <clears throat> we have Khalil Mack. Uh, Khalil Mack, I think, was around 60K last time I looked. And now he's up for 95, so he's definitely up in price. Um, again, you know these cards you could just pull uh, pretty regularly. I I definitely see a lot of people pulling all rookie team cards all the time. So you know if you pull one of these guys that I'm showing you, you're gonna get a little bit of coin there. Uh, this one's going for about 100k. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. And then uh, we have the Kelvin Benjamin, which I pulled earlier. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it to be going for as much as it was. And uh, I actually sold mine for like 125 I think, 126 And that's what he's currently going for right now. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff currently in the game that you guys can make coins off of. Um, fortunately, there's only one Elite badge in this set. So it makes it a little bit easier to do if you have all the cards. Uh, CJ Mosley is another guy, by the way, that is going for a lot of coins. He's 96 overall, going for 162 k That's extremely... Uh, Oh, that's a that's a pretty big price tag right there. Didn't even realize that. Um, and he's actually a really good card too. So that's probably why he's going for so much. You know, combined with the fact that he's in the set. So uh, yeah, definitely be sure to check out those all rookie team sets and try to find some snipes there. Um, but other than that, you know, guys, there really isn't too many things again that I want to talk about this week. I've uh, just been pretty much trying to get better. Um, and work on pack and play. So I haven't really had a lot of time to make some coins. Uh, I pretty much sold off a lot of my team so I could have a lot of coins for pack and play and, you know, make a lot of coins every week trying to pull golden tickets. Just have fun and, uh, you know, go overboard basically with videos and open up a lot of packs and see what we can pull. So, um, like I said, unfortunately, there really isn't much more I could say. Uh, if you guys still have, you know, Julius Thomas, I told you guys, Julius Thomas might be the rarest card in the tight end set. Um, be a little bit wary on that. You know, you never know if they're going to put him in or not now. Uh, a lot of people um, are probably going to be upset about the Arian Foster thing. And, you know, Julius Thomas might not be in the set either when the tight end set comes out. I don't know why they wouldn't add him. I don't know why they didn't add Arian Foster. But, you know, just be careful with Julius Thomas. If you feel like, you know, you don't want to wait and see and you invested way too much, you might want to cash out. But, you know, you might be able to take the risk and you might make a lot of coins. It's just with EA, you just can never tell what they're going to do uh, from one week to the, ne to the next. So, you know, there's that. Um, is there anything else I could talk about here? Uh, you know, golden tickets, of course. You know, you always want to take a look at golden tickets every now and then. You never, uh, you never know what's going to be going up and you never know what people are going to put them up for. So if you just happen to randomly stumble upon a golden ticket snipe, even if it's for like... I don't know, like let's say you see Calvin Johnson up for like 900k. That's still a pretty big buy, uh, but it's a very big snipe as well because you could sell him for like 1.5, and 
and make a lot of coins off that. So uh, this is just for people that have a lot of coins. You know, I have three mil. So if I randomly saw a Calvin just now while I searched for 900K, I would immediately buy it and put that, you know, put that son of a bitch up for 1.5 mil. So uh, that's pretty much going to be it for Market Monday this week. I know kind of a short video, but uh, as always, I'm just going to help you guys look for the rare cards and the position set, uh, positional sets and, you know, talk about what's going on in the muck community right now, what, you know, sets are out and stuff like that. Um, unless they come out with something that you can absolutely, you know, sit there and grind and make a lot of coins. Uh, it's just going to be the same old thing every week until, you know, we get something else that I could help you with. But hopefully, you know, like I always say, hopefully whatever I talk about, even if it's something small as, you know, showing you guys some rare cards in this set, if that helps a little bit of you guys, that's what matters to me. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. But I definitely have to go ahead and, you know, get some rest and get this sickness out of me. I'm so sick of getting sick all the time and it really isn't my fault you know my dad came home he got sick at work and unfortunately you know i'm here and i caught it from him so that's why i sound like lavelle hawkins right now again you know <laughs> i always get sick and it's just something that i'm gonna have to deal with but like i said hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did give it a like subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys later tomorrow hopefully we get a pack and play gameplay up i know you guys are really wanting to see that and i'll talk to you guys later peace